Tonight, exclusive body camera video obtained by the CBS2 investigators raises questions about the arrest of a Palestinian American student at University of Illinois Chicago for defacing campus property. Our interview with the student comes just weeks after the U.S. Department of Education opened a civil rights investigation into UIC for allegations of anti-Palestinian discrimination. Here's Dorothy Tucker. November 14th, 2023. Put your hands on the wall, both hands. I'm gonna search you. It was very dehumanizing. Spread your legs. UIC senior. Put your hands behind your back. Honor student. Okay, now face your right. Fingerprinted. Put both of your thumbs like this. Okay, have a seat. Locked in a cell. It was gross. Alone for hours. It was filthy in there. Here she was in this filthy UIC holding cell, shocked to be under arrest. It should not have even gotten to that point. All because she wrote these words, free Palestine. We want freedom just as much as everyone else wants their own freedom. The Palestinian American is afraid for her safety and her future, so she asked CBS2 to conceal her identity. I'm going to be applying for jobs. Her fear? She could be blacklisted on internet websites. The student admits she wasn't thinking about any of that when surveillance cameras caught her marking up campus property. She was angry at the university. Just days after Hamas killed 1,200 Israelis, the president of UIC released this statement. It condemned the attacks by Hamas but Arab American students felt the school failed to use the same strong language condemning Israel for killing nearly a thousand Palestinians at that time. They've sent out an, an email in the first week that completely left us out. This student initially put up posters to support Palestine. But the posters and stickers were always being torn down within the day. That's when she picked up the permanent marker, targeting 10 spots, drawing everything from a Palestine flag to you can't erase Palestinians. Solely like places where if you walked by, you'd be able to see it. Some of her messages right next to graffiti that already existed, but she got caught. Just saw a student writing, I guess, vandalism over at uh, 619 in between the two buildings. He's right here. Campus surveillance cameras captured a UIC employee dodging busy traffic in pursuit of his target. Female with a, a thing like a headdress thing on. Are you a student here? Yes. When police tracked her down, they did what they were told and watched the officer's reaction. If we do find the person and we do confirm the person, I want this person locked up. Okay, 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 okay. 10 4. Am I being arrested? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You are. Handcuffed, paraded in front of her classmates. The police report spelled out the charge, criminal defacement of property. I think the, the entire response to the student um, was an overreach of university power. Right, she's right here. And this is the building where she's eventually arrested. Nicole Wen, professor of criminology, law and justice, was at the police station. How long is this going to take? Are you her friend or what's going on? They were. Uh, professor at UIC? Yeah. I was scared for her. I mean, as a faculty member, I see graffiti all over campus. And it's, it's, it's queer pride graffiti, it's homophobic graffiti, it's Tina Loves Tom graffiti. Um, and we know that for the most part, this doesn't get reported as criminal activity. CBS2 investigators found plenty of graffiti around campus on walls, doors, and sidewalks. But when it came to criminal activity, data from the UIC police shows 120 criminal defacement incidents since 2021. Guess how many people were arrested as of November 2023? Just one, this one. Do you think the fact that she was Arab American played any role in this? Yes. You know, the 911 call identifies the person who's being followed as a female with a headdress. With a, a thing like a headdress thing on. You can't help but think that that plays a role in why someone felt emboldened to follow her, to call the police multiple times, and then to lead to her arrest. Okay, now face your left. Not only was she arrested, 
But when you listen to the police chatter, this young woman, just months from graduating, okay. was facing the most severe criminal charge in the system. Yeah, because it got initially supposed to be a felony. You're kidding. You're trying to get a felony for some marker. Really? Can you take the, the scarf off? Michael Fee? Yes. If they got a felony and she was convicted, it could mean up to three years in prison. But there was more. It was like the felony and we, it got bumped down to a misdemeanor. So no explanation given, but even the officers sounded confused. Once it was a misdemeanor, I was like, oh, can't we just cut her from the station? It's not a violent uh, right? offense. Yeah. Like a, not a flight risk. Like, that's my, just yeah, like this, then we got to send this. It's a pain in the we can see that even from the police officer's perspective, this response was unnecessary and didn't make any sense. Wynn argues the university should have responded differently, maybe hosting a listening session for Arab American students, or... Is it that she washes off the graffiti, for example? That didn't happen. Instead, two weeks after this nearly seven-hour ordeal, this one-page letter from the UIC Dean of Students, closing the case with a warning. And that was that. That was the last like, official correspondence. One week later, the criminal charge for writing these words was dismissed in court. Being Palestinian means that you have a target on your back, on your head, on your chest. You have a target everywhere. Just because the case was dismissed doesn't mean the charge isn't still in her record. A recent background check for a job she applied for found the charge and she lost the opportunity. The student is now fighting to get her record expunged. In the newsroom, Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 Investigators. UIC would not do an interview or answer questions about the arrest. Instead, they sent a statement acknowledging the community's pain, saying they're working to engage with students and faculty on this issue. You can read their full statement on their website. In December, the Department of Education opened an investigation into UIC for allegations of anti-Palestinian discrimination dating back to 2021.